Hello, we are from Obovo and we have developed a supply chain planning and optimization solution in Dalmia Quintic. Today we will show you how you can solve your air cargo shipment strategic problems. For this puzzle, there is a need to allocate shipments to different flights and assign resources to minimize empty miles. The goal is to optimize the shipment allocation and create flights by minimizing distances and increase the aircraft utilization. Creating a plan for an air cargo company or business unit means four things. One, creating flights based on shipments. These flights need to respect airport operating hours. Two, assign resources to the created flights. We ensure a minimization of costs. Three, increase resource utilization by adding shipments. And four, modify plane structures, run multiple scenarios, and compare the results to select the best suitable one to supply your demand. In the first view, we can see the data included in the system. This data includes the possible resources, flight schedules, and the shipments the airline needs to plan. By looking at the graphs, we can see how our fleet is distributed. We can also see the flight schedules, which the airline is encouraged to use but has enough flexibility to create flights outside of those times. Lastly, we can see the shipments, how they are spread out in passengers, cargo, and the corresponding distances. In the flight planning view, we have an overview of the shipments we can quickly visualize on the world map. There is a form where the flights created are displayed and the KPIs are shown on the top of the screen. We have two sets of KPIs, planning related and cost related. Planners can manually create an empty flight by entering the origin, destination and departure time. They need to assign a shipment to the flight in order to plan the demand. This action can be done by dragging and dropping. The last step in the process is to assign the cheapest resource to the flight. This can be done by picking the least costly option from the list. As the flight falls within a buffer time of a flight schedule, the application automatically changes the times to follow the airline's flight schedules. An icon displayed on the left of the flight indicates of oh, this flight follows a flight schedule. This parameter can be modified by the planner. In certain situations, planners may want to create a flight based on a specific shipment. This can be automatically done by clicking on create flight from a shipment leg. If the shipment selected violates our airport operating hours, the planner can decide to overrule these opening hours or edit the flight times to respect them. The information of the airport operating hours is displayed to the planner and can be seen in both in local times or UTC. The last step is then to assign the cheapest resource in the same manner as we have explained. This can be triggered via a shortcut. A third way to plan a flight is by using the flight schedules. The planner can select the best possible schedule from the list. This creates a flight automatically with the times from the schedule and assigns the cheapest resource possible. As the utilization is still not ideal, planners need to find flights for the shipments. By clicking on suggest existing flights for the shipment leg, planners can have a list with all the possible flights which would fit the shipment in them. The planner can then decide which one is the best for his plan. We can see how the flight now carries passengers and cargo. Manually planning all the shipments can take a long time for the planner, so an optimizer is used to assign the best combination to minimize the costs. We can initiate the optimizer by clicking on the schedule flights located on the top of the screen. Several adjustments can be made to the fleet if the planner wants to modify the plane structure to reduce passenger capacity and maximize cargo space. The planner can quickly visualize the flight schedule and plane utilization in a new view called Flight Overview. In here, the details for every flight are displayed in a Gantt chart. In blue, we can see the flight details. The two rows under it represent the shipment legs assigned to the flight. The upper one corresponds to the cargo and the lower to the passengers. 
Planners can quickly see the utilization of the flight based on the colors of each row. These sets of colors can be configured by the planner to show different levels of utilization. The last step is the scenario comparison. To compare different scenarios, go to the view scenario comparison. In here, the planner can easily compare multiple scenarios at the same time and decide which one to go into production with. Dummy Aquintic offers clear visuals with which the planner can select the best planning based on KPIs. As one can see, the solution leverages functionality from the Dummy Aquintic optimization tools, which shows how the solution can help a company optimally solve the strategic problems for an air cargo airline. It will also help you modify plane structure and compare which of the multiple scenarios created is the best for your demand. Thanks to it, you can support your planning with intelligence.